Hi, I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy. And today we're here with the lovely Maddie. And we are going to have one of our quick start guides for the Welsh Terrier. So our quick start guides are kind of, we, we invented them for you, right? There's a lot of different options out there when it comes to grooming equipment, like not only in tools, but in shampoos, conditioners, sprays, chalks, all those things. So this isn't an exhaustive list, but like just giving you a quick start, somewhere to start if you have a Welsh Terrier or you're thinking of getting one and you want to show it. So a little note about our quick start guides is you don't have to follow along with a pen and paper. We're gonna make a printable list down below that you can print off so you have everything that we said here. Um, the other thing is, is that if you're like, hey, I don't have a Welsh Terrier, but I'd really like to know what you recommend for my breed, why don't you just comment your breed uh, down below and we'll see if we can get to it sooner rather than later. All right, so you have a Welsh Terrier, you think you wanna show it, what do you wanna do? Do you need to have a good shampoo and conditioner? So for a lot of our Terriers, we don't always wash the jacket, right? We don't always wash this coat here. Every week or a couple times a week, we will wash the furnishings, right? So everything longer is a furnishing, everything flatter, this is flat work, is, or, or a jacket. So we don't wash this every week. When we do, we never ever use conditioner on it, okay? Um, so I would use something like Clean Start or any type of wire coat shampoo. The most important thing when you're washing the jacket is that it has to be dried flat and it has to be dried 100%. Now the legs, I am going to use conditioner for my maintenance bath. So I'm going to use a shampoo, probably like Clean Start or another wire coat shampoo and some kind of conditioner in the furnishings when I am doing maintenance, not for show. So something like After You Bathe would be a good conditioner or Fair Advantage, which is shampoo and conditioner in one is also a good option. Okay. So as with any breed, you know, you have to have equipment to keep the teeth clean, the ears clean and the nails done. So those are our shampoos. So then um, terriers are actually quite specific when it comes to kind of the grooming tools that you'll need. So the first thing you need is I want you to have some kind of bristle brush that isn't tufted, right? So it has the bristles all the way through the brush because you are always going to be making sure that you're brushing the jacket with the grain, especially when you're drying it. And you're going to be using like quite a bit of pressure when you do that as well. So you need a really good bristle brush. Then you're going to need a variety of stripping knives, right? So this is a coarse knife. I'd probably use this for carding or raking the jacket. So I'm using this raking motion. She's at a dog show today, so I'm not gonna actually do it. We're using this raking motion to rake out all of the undercoat. Then you would have a different size knife when you are stripping, right? When you're pulling the hair or even a finer knife when you're doing the flat work, right? So that's when you're pulling the hair or stripping it as opposed to carding or raking. So you're gonna have a variety of knives. One thing about knives is they're kind of like a cast iron frying pan. The best ones are old, right? And you need to season them. So all knives are come out of the box too sharp and you have to carve through a pumice stone or a piece of old carpet or something to get them dull. If you are stripping with your stripping knife, you can see here, well, you can't, but trust me, there are roots on these hairs. So that means that I'm actually stripping the hair. If I pulled the hair and there was no roots, right? Like it was just straight off. My knife is too sharp. I'm cutting the hair. So that's an important way to find out if you're cutting the hair. All right. So for grooming the legs, I'm going to use either a terrier palm pad or a pin brush with very, very short pins. So the reason is, is that yes, we might be, um, you're never gonna brush the leg dry either, right? So I have um, just a vine in here with some water, a good brushing spray. And I'm going to take my either short pin pin brush, so 20 millimeters or shorter, or my terrier palm pad. And what you wanna do when you're styling the legs is you're gonna put the brush in and you're just gonna kind of like mat the hair or like it's kind of back combing the hair at the root. And that's how you set up a terrier leg so that you get you can see on her how you get that nice column of a leg, right? Because we go in here and we, with a terrier pad or the short pin pin brush, you kind of go in and that's how you make, get the hair to stand out and away from the leg. Then you would need a comb. So for a lot of my terriers, I will use like a 000 comb. 
and you just like kind of comb everything down to make these nice straight columns all the way around the leg. And you can set that with a little bit of hairspray and you are good to go. So that's some of the equipment that you would need. A lot of these red terriers, so a lot of this equipment would be the same for like any of our long-legged terriers. So a Lakeland, an Airedale. Um, the other things that you are going to be needing is you're gonna need some cholesterol. So we use cholesterol to hold the chalk in the legs. Um, a lot of times we are using a, a very red chalk and we're going to pick the chalk up with our chalk brush and we're gonna get it evenly through all the parts of the dog that are red or need just a little bit of enhancement. The other thing I would do is I would have some gel and right before I go in the ring, I'd put a little bit of gel. I like to keep it on my fingers, not really in my hand. And I'm gonna make her eyebrows look nice and sharp. And I'm also gonna make her beard look nice and sharp. So all of this would go forward, legs would go down. And like we said, especially with terriers, it does come down to there are a lot of different stripping knives that you are going to need. But when we're talking about a quick start, where we're going to start, the things that we're going to use, um, this is enough to get you started. Hey everyone, thanks for watching today's video. Please leave us a comment below, let us know what you thought, and as well, if you have any ideas for future content that you'd like to see, you can put them down there as well. You can head over to leadingedgedogshowacademy.com where you can find our free, premium, and subscription content, and we'd love to have you join us there. As well, don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on those notifications. That way you never miss another free video tutorial. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.